Hi, it's James with Internet Flotation Devices, and uh, time for our fourth video in the four-part series about creating products and putting them together in product kit uh, in Drupal with Ubercart. Um, the last step in this is to take the service plan product that we created and added attributes and options to, and to put it together with the hardware product that we, we created in the first video and sell those as a unit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, oh, at, before we go on, I wanted to point this out. Uh, in the last video, uh, in the name, we put the, the price in there, and I said I'd show you why later we were going to do it. This is why, because now it shows up in the name, uh, in the option uh, for that service plan product so that you know so that the user knows uh, exactly how much that option costs, and it's not a surprise to them when they get to their shopping cart. Um, okay, so to create the product kit, we first need to go to cre Content Management, Create Content, Product Kit. And this brings up a, a content type creation page. And we give it a name, James's test product kit. And we can give it a description here. This description is the teaser that shows up on the products page, but it also shows up as the first paragraph uh, on the product detail page right under the title. So we're going to put a uh, description in here. Here is a description. Blah, blah. Uh, make this kind of realistic. There we go. A couple paragraphs. All right. Now, the hardware description is going to be the hardware specification. So this is the hardware so if there's a table of, of uh, information, electrical information about the about the hardware piece, it'd go in there. This is a service plan description. This talks about the different service plans service plan description in here. And I just want to put these in there so that you'll see uh, where they go. Um, then once we're done with that, we need to choose an image. Let's see. Do I have an image? I have an image in my pictures, I think I have a, an image of a cardboard box in here somewhere. Where's my pictures? Right there. Um, Let's just go with the Internet Flotation Devices logo. And then we go down to product information, and we want to choose that uh, this option right here, customers may only change how many kits they are buying, list, com list component products. So we want to grab our hardware product, and our software product. And you have to, this is a uh, multi-select box, so what you have to do is you have to hold down your shift key to select the two. Or if you want to select two that are not adjacent on a Mac is holding down the command, it's a command click, so you hold down the command key and click multiple ones. Or on a, a, a PC, it's a control click. So you select one, control, hold down the control button and click the other one. And default quantity to add to cart is one. And let's see, default shipping. We choose a small package. 
default pickup address is going to be the IQ Logistics Corporation. We had that set up previously and we're just going to leave it alone. Uh, the default shipping rate is five dollars. Uh, we could override that here if we want to, but we're not going to. Here we can uh, we can talk about what the uh, package type is for USPS, but for most part everything's already set up, so we'll just click save. So now we've got a test product, all right, and all of the things that are shown on my that I set up for my test product are right here. Here's the product description. Here's the hardware information. Here's the service plan information. Here are my terms, which I called my options terms, and I've got an add to cart button. If I press add to cart, it'll say terms field is required. So I have to choose a, a, a service plan agreement. So now if we go back to the buy now page, where uh, for this particular site all of our products are listed, now my test product kit is showing up there. It's got my image. Here's the description. Remember, I told you it's going to be the teaser on the on the buy now page or on the product listing page. When you go into either learn more or James's test product kit, it goes to the product page, like we just saw. All right. Okay. So to make a, uh, a test purchase, I'm going to add this to cart. Choose the five minute reporting. And actually, this site is live now, so I'm not going to go completely through it. Uh, I'm going to remove that because that's a product that I already had in there. And you'll notice that it shows my, my new product and my service plan with the five-minute reporting. And it also shows uh, that there's two items in my cart, meaning the, the product and my, my service plan. And the rest of it is just uh, putting your information in and, and setting your shipping address and choosing your, your uh, shipping type. We have it set up for USPS and, um, and Federal Express. And uh, once the person completes this checkout process, then uh, an email receipt is sent to them and a, uh, a notification is sent to the company to send the product out. So that is creating a product kit in Ubercart for your Drupal website. Uh, once again, my name is James Laughlin, and I'm with uh, Internet Flotation Devices. And if there's any questions or comments about this, please add them in the comment section, or you can click on the Contact Us link at internetflotationdevices.com and drop us a line. We'll be happy to hear from you.